What's up, Vikings? Coach Vaughn here to show you this beginner club bell workout. Now, if you're curious about these, with these elongated shapes, or are they bowling pins, you know, when people walk into my gym, they get very curious with them. I like to say these combine the best of both worlds with steel maces and kettlebells, as I've featured on my channel and all my other programs, into one world. Uh, as you can see, with this 10 pound, which I recommend for women, a 15 pound, I recommend for beginner men as well, and a 35, which I'm gonna be demoing with in this workout because I put my money where my mouth is, it gets longer. So it, as you can see, it needs more weight to go toward that elongated head. So that grip is really gonna get challenged. So I'm gonna show you three exercises and break more down at the end of this video on how you can go far with these in the future. Let's get started. All right, to get this out of the way, you wanna perform both sides with the two-handed side sack position. Notice my base hand is the working side, packed into my lat to the side and my other hand's tracking over. This is so when I pull it over my shoulder, it goes over nice and smooth, isn't gonna bonk me in the head, and I press it out fully in the midline of my body, pull it back to that side, performing back and forth with that pullover to press out. Keep your ears, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, all vertically planked, bracing that abdomen. What you don't wanna do here is, see those elbows flaring out? Break the bar in half. Those elbow pits should be up and really engage those lats underneath your armpit. And then same with thing with the pullover. Don't let those hips shift forward. Hide the ribs down. Brace down your core like someone's gonna punch you in the stomach there. Keep that chin up a little bit higher. And then pull it in nice and tight to that side stack position. Punch it back out in the midline. Simply shoulder it. Switch your grip. Magic, just like that. You're all set up to do the next side. Left and right counts as one set. Once again, keep that elbow tucked into the rib cage in that side stack position, nice and tight for that pullover. And then punching right out to that midline of the body and then right back to the side. Next, we're gonna do a club dead stop side swing. We're still gonna use that side stack position. Notice how I'm pivoting that foot. Still gonna break that bar in half to keep those lats engaged. And we're really working this rotational plane now as you would with a golf club or even a baseball bat like swing using the hips for more power and then getting that strength and stability to lock it out. I've seen so many people swing uh, clubs like this where it comes off from the low back. I just don't agree with this style. Use those hips, pivot those feet. That's where power comes from, from the ground up. As you see here in slow-mo, I'm driving that foot, letting it, that those wrists extend, and then I squish the bug. That's the cue I like to use with this when doing all this uh, cueing for that rotation to get those hips really to work and protect your low back when working with rotation with this. Simply uh, just switch your grip as we did with the last one to get both sides. Last one, always narrow your stance when swinging clubs outside the hips. This is so you don't hit your shins when doing it. And then you wanna make sure your setup is nice and solid with maximal hip flexion and minimal knee flexion as you do this hand-to-hand -hand club swing. Tilt the club, hike it back, explode up with those hips. The, the uh, club bell should be nice and weightless up top, as you see here. So that I hinge, explode with those hips. It should just naturally go to your other hand. It should have somewhat of a horseshoe shape as you're doing this. So it shouldn't feel like it's getting any closer to the shins. It should just go nice and forward back, kind of like a skier swing, as you would see someone load up into that hip hinge. Once again, don't do something lazy looking like Jillian Michaels with this drinking bird swing. Don't get lazy with it. Explode with the hips. Drive the hips back. It's not a squat. Drive it up. Maintain that horseshoe shape. When you're done, safely set it down. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that workout. If you'd like to get some steel clubs I use on it, I've had these for 10 years. Great powder coat, solid pommel, great structure with all these. I got the affiliate link below that does help me out if you use that. Um, I also do have an ebook as well showing you how to use these with singles and doubles and how to warm up with them for more resiliency with Indian clubs so you get stronger with them over time. So if you want to check that out, I've got more info on my website about it. I'll put that in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is Coach Vaughn signing off. Hope you have fun with that.